Hey guys, back again. Mike with Extreme HydrogenLabs.com. It's been about a week. Sorry, been real busy. Had some issues with some things. The engines in the past I've tested have been carbureted engines, like the Tractor Project. There's been a few I haven't shown. Just didn't have time. That's why I'm getting 70 to sometimes 89% increase in fuel mileage. Now, as far as the contour project, that thing has a computer. And being a mechanic for almost 27 years, I have a scanner. It's made by Snap On. I can read what the O2s are reading, the map sensor, the MAF, so on and so forth. Uh, rather expensive piece of equipment, plugs into your OBD2 connector under your dash, so I can monitor everything. Well, what I found, and I kind of had the feeling anyways, is when you introduce hydrogen into the engine, you get a lot of oxygen to your exhaust. Well, you get distilled water, too, believe it or not. It'd be nice to be able to figure out a way to collect that. Go green, right? Put some water back into the atmosphere and some more oxygen. Wish everybody would do that. Anyways, down to business here. I made this little unit. Some of it I've copied, some of it I haven't. What I'm doing here... I have two potentiometers. I need to slice them off, put some knobs on them. I have an on and off. And then I have a city and a highway mode. So when we're over here in highway, we're using this one. And we're over here, we're using this potentiometer. Now, don't mind the wiring color code. It's all the wire I had at the moment. Basically, one wire is ground. One wire goes to your 5 volt reference, and one goes back to your ECU, or your engine's computer. So what you're basically doing is, is you're shipping voltage back, or you're varying your voltage from rich to lean, because what happens is, when that computer senses that oxygen to that exhaust, it's saying, hey, we got too much oxygen in here. We're not burning good. We need more fuel. So you start dumping more fuel. Well, you're defeating your purpose. I'm going to start making these units and making them available to the public. I have to figure out what I'm going to charge for them. It's not going to be a lot. The, about the biggest cost is going to be my time. It took me a eh, couple hours total. You know, that's unpackaging parts and so on and so forth, drilling holes, a handful of soldering in there. It's an enclosed case. I'll make it a little nicer than that. Anyways. I would take it apart right now and show you with the guts inside it, but we'll show that another day. Anyways, a little interesting discovery. Plate spacing. That's two plates. That's 304 stainless. So I really don't care for the 304, but we're still dealing with it. Um, those plates are spaced roughly about 20 thousandths. I used some rubber washers, just two of them, very thin, and then I tightened those nylons as tight as I can get them and got those plates as close as I can get them without touching them. And you notice we got some scum going on in there and that leads down to, you see that bottom connector right there, or that clip, that's a stainless clip. Top one's copper. 
see what happens so you can't have any copper in your system whatsoever it makes a mess plus it deteriorates at a very rapid rate well anyways I just wanted to show you the production of this unit at a very close and I'm talking so close you almost can't slide a piece of paper in there between those two plates and that's only two plates that's it I'd move the plates but the scum that's sitting in there would dirty the water up and it'd start floating around and you know we wouldn't be able to get a good view of what I'm about to do here I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and this will give you a good idea on your plate spacing is important and you need to play around with it to get your optimum output here we go when you hear the click she's on look at that two plates that's just unbelievable amount I mean that there is almost now it's not been in a flow tank I shouldn't say a tank but in a closed container on a flow meter but that thing just filled that and we're getting nice product look at that it's just boiling away out the top just crazy and it's very flammable I've already taken the, my little trusty little torch to it turn it off and if you notice my lights dimming up and down in here it's nothing from my system I had the central air unit on it's about 90 freaking degrees here tonight and about 1200 percent humidity is just killing me and don't mind if I go silent here you know let that float off and I'll show you again We're only drawing 20 amps. I mean, well, I shouldn't say only, but 20 amps is a pretty good draw rate. we got to figure that one out still. Here we go again. That's unbelievable production for two plates. I thought about slipping the neutral plate in there, but my past videos I'm sure you've seen I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the neutrals I could be doing something wrong maybe I am I don't know I will figure it out let's see if we look down in here the light I put a light over it so you can actually see oh, the lights falling apart like everything else around here that is really cooking. There's a lot of bubbles. And one could say, yep, oh, that's oxygen bubbles and this, that, and the other. Well, I'll tell you what. I put that torch to that, and it explodes like you wouldn't believe. That thing is just full. Turn her off. I'm not sure how good. I'll say it again, you old broken record man here. I suck at videos. I'll get better at it. I'm sorry, I've been getting a lot of emails and trying to respond and so on and so forth. My 13 year old daughter does that for me. I really am no good at computers at least as far as a home computer or a PC so as far as typing and all that but I will get back with everyone which I have had her do today and I guess I'm going to have to start paying her we'll do it once more here it's just unbelievable for just two plates I have to research this a little more I'm going to space them out about ten more thousandths and see what happens. Maybe we'll get even more. Till next time.
We're going to show you a cooling unit. See you later.